What's up guys, this is John with Skate Better, and today we're doing the Bones Big Balls Bearings Review. So I reviewed a couple bearings in the past, it's mostly been comparisons, but uh, this is gonna be a quick one, I'm just gonna do a really short review on these bearings. So the Bones Big, uh, big <laughs> try saying that five times fast, the Bones Big Balls Bearings are the newest bearings from Bones, and they're about 25 bucks, so it's a pretty low price range for bearings. And they look, they're like a light blue color when you first get them. Um, you have to forgive me, I threw away the packaging a long time ago, but you can just look at the picture um, on, the, on the video or the thumbnail and that'll show you kind of what it looks like. But essentially they're like this light blue color, which is kind of cool. And here's how these bearings are supposed to work. So most bearings come with seven little balls on the inside. The Bones Big Balls come with six balls on the inside. And the balls are 17% larger than the regular balls that would be inside a bearing. So essentially, the theory behind that is like, if you think of like, um, like a big wheel, like a big car wheel, and then a small wheel, to go the same distance, the big wheel isn't gonna have to move as much. The small wheel is gonna have to move a lot more. So it's less wear and tear or less use of the bearing. Um, it's also less friction on the bearing. And they're a little bit bigger, so it's supposed to uh, be more durable. So like if you do a lot of impact skating, things like that, um, it's not supposed to like, uh, you're not supposed to have issues with impact or as many issues, which I don't think many people have impact issues with their bearings. That's kind of weird, but I have seen it happen. So whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how they work. So less friction, um, less movement inside the bearing. They're supposed to help keep more dirt out of the bearing too, because it's like taking up bigger space, which I don't necessarily think is true. Um, but anyways, the, they work. The bearings work. I put them on. I would say the ride was pretty smooth, so the first time I put them on, um, it definitely felt like a smooth ride. I didn't really notice that much of a difference. They didn't seem like they were incredibly fast, so I usually ride the Bronson Raws. That's like my bearing of choice, and I've ridden these for a while. So these were on the anti-hero deck that I was skating, um, and then I moved them onto this deck. Haven't changed my wheel setup, but I am gonna go back to the Bronson Raws and, uh, and some new wheels. I'm gonna try some new wheels. I'll do a review on those. Um, but basically, the bearings work fine. What I would say the biggest difference or what I noticed is if I was going down a hill, I did notice that the bearings actually went faster than like um, Bones Reds, I would say. So like going downhill and maybe because like the bearings are a little bit bigger, maybe they weigh a little bit more, um, they're putting more force into the bearing or into the wheel at that point and then you're going a little bit faster. So I think like if you're bombing hills and doing things like that or you want a lot of speed on an incline or maybe like park skating, it's probably like a really good bearing for that. But other than that, I didn't really notice like too much difference in the bearing. It just felt like regular bearing, felt like a Bones Reds that went faster when you go down a hill or on an incline. So if you do want something like that, then great, you can give them a shot. Um, what I would say, my final recommendation on this bearing is, if you have $25, because like Bones Reds I think cost like 20 bucks. If you have $25 and $5 is not a big difference for you, then throw the extra five bucks down to get the bearings because um, I will say they, they've lasted quite a bit. They lasted through the anti-hero deck and they lasted, they still feel like almost brand new bearings on this deck. So I haven't lubricated them, I haven't cleaned them, haven't done anything to them in like five months. And they still feel like really, really great bearings. So if you have the extra five bucks to spend, I would buy these over the Bones Reds for sure. I think they are gonna last longer. I think you will get a little bit more speed when you're going downhill. But other than that, if five bucks is a lot, then don't get it, buy the Bones Reds because you're not gonna notice that much of a difference, especially if you're like a beginner skater, you're not gonna be going that fast and it's probably not gonna matter. But anyways, that's it. That's my review on the Bones Big Balls. If you have the money, go for it. If not, it doesn't really matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, I'll throw in the one little clip that I have been, that I did get uh, last week skating inside for quarantine. So we're still, we're still in COVID-19 right now, quarantine zone. So I haven't been doing that much skating. My ankle is still healing, but I should have some more reviews soon. As soon as it heals, I'm gonna get right back to skating. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.